Hello, I'm Frédéric Klett, uh, calling from home in, in Brussels. I am leading the World Data Center SILSO, which uh, preserves the International Sunspot Number Series, which is our unique direct recall of solar activity over multiple centuries. Uh, our role is to maintain the historical series and source data, distribute them, upgrade them, and uh, recover new data. This already led to a uh, record of more than 35 solar cycle and their complex variation. But we also continue this series by coordinating and supervising a worldwide observing network of 90 stations, which leads also to extended data product. Here is a zoom on the last cycle showing the different series we produce. This has a strong impact in science of course, with a lot of publication based on the number, but also society, because the impact of solar activity, of course, goes well beyond uh, solar physics. For the next few years, we have three main axes for our work. First, it's continuing the end-to-end -end revision of the Sunspun number series that we started in 2011 and involved an international group of experts as in is endorsed by several uh, international scientific unions. This already led to the release of a first revision in 2015, and we are preparing a new one. We also now are continuing the construction of a full database of all source data, which includes printed data handwritten tables that are not accessible for compute processing. This requires a lot of uh, manpower and also recovering uh, paper documents that are either lost or neglected. And finally, we support solar cycle predictions. We are now uh, part of uh, the Solar Cycle 25 prediction panel uh, set up by NOAA and NASA. And there was very recently a press release regarding the start of the new cycle. But our main concern for the next few years is uh, the struggle for necessary and stable funding that consumes a lot of energy for a small team with uh, only one senior scientist, but all, uh, only then postdocs and volunteers, which uh, keeps us with the permanent risk of losing unique scientific expertise. And this is in stark contrast with the strong recognition we get from the scientific community that translate in an ever growing demand. And this disconnection between the means we have and uh, the demand leads to one of the actions we think the World Data System should focus on for the next few years. So we need really an institutional platform for connecting the user community with decision makers who decide on the funding. And this is at an international level. In this respect, given the international role of the data center, the funding should logically be moved to the international level. By now it relies on local institutions and policies that are often dictated by very local consideration where the international uh, context is often uh, considered as secondary. So these are the two main uh, suggestions we have regarding how the World Data System could help the data center uh, uh, continuing over the next few years. Uh, thank you for your attention.